welcome back to the channel guys so today guys i wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts of hansi flick to barca obviously i did a stream earlier today you guys can hear my friend's perspective on this but i just want to do a quick little video for you guys you know because obviously i know the streams are pretty long and everything you know and this kind of like a quick summary you know obviously um i took my time you know my life and just give you guys we'll, we'll be here for around five minutes so let me just start first with the whole Xavi announcement. It was so sad. We had to part ways with Xavi. And I do think it was the right decision for us to part ways with Xavi. But I just didn't like the way we handled it. Because Laporta, man, you can't be doing that way. You got to stick with him. You know, and sure, what he may have said in the press conference was a, is, is something you probably shouldn't say publicly. But you could you can't really just sack a guy just for that alone. Like, it just doesn't make sense, you know. Like, you're going to sack him, basically, for off-the-field issues, off-the-field reasons, rather than on the field. It's just really weird. But putting that to a side, we have Hansi Flick's approach. And I'm I'm very cautious here. And I think Barca fans should be very cautious. Because Hansi Flick is a good coach. Let's not make forget, let's not kid ourselves. He's an upgrade over Xavi Hernandez, without a doubt. But the issue is, is he going to succeed here? Because that's what's really interesting for me is that I genuinely feel like for me, Hansi Flick, this will either be a huge success or a failure. I don't see anything in between. And the thing with Hansi Flick is that he has a certain style with him. And that is kind of one of my big cr concerns is that at Barcelona, is that style going to work? Because we all know what made look very successful at Bayern Munich is that high line. The, the way he's able to get this team to play a high line is crazy. And remember, his high line is probably more intense than the high lines we've seen. Because I know Barca has played high line before. But the high line that Flick plays is more aggressive, more deep. And I think it's going to require, it's going to, it's going to physically drain a lot of these players. Because let's be real, guys. This Barcelona team doesn't have many physical players. Think It just doesn't. The only physical players that we may have is maybe Gavi and maybe uh may that's probably it. That's probably it. And maybe Araujo, I would probably say. The rest of the players I don't think are physical. And that's my concern, is that we have we have to back Flick in the summer. Because if we're not gonna back Flick in the summer, given this team, it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. We have to get some physical ball winning midfielders this summer. We have to do it. Because we cannot roll next season with Oriol Romeo as our DM. If we do, we are finished. I repeat, we are finished. So, Juan Laporta, you got to back flick all you that you can. Because this guy can succeed. If you give him the resources, if you give him the time, give him the structure, and be patient, he can be good. But the thing is, at Barcelona, there's only so much patience we can give you. Like, you, like we gave Xavi two and a half seasons, and... We haven't really progressed much. We maybe we've, we've done decent domestically, but if we want to challenge for Europe, because now it's I think it's time for us to challenge for Europe. Because I believe that Flick can help us get better in European competitions. Because one of the big issues I've had with Xavi is that we didn't do well in Europe, especially in those big games. So it'll be interesting to see what Flick can do for Barca. And like I said, guys, I'm I'm happy with the announcement. Um, this wasn't my first choice. But I'll, I'll, I hope this succeeds. I really hope he works out here for Barcelona. And I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, and all Barca fans should be supporting him. We should back him to the very end and give him our support. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing we can do about it. We can't change the coach. We can't do anything about it. We have to accept it as it is. And let's hope he works out. Because for me... It's going to be very interesting because, I, like I said, guys, I am I, I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect. I'm going to keep my expectations low, and I think we as Barca fans should be realistic here with our expectations. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.